Kids want to do something fun. They want to do something awesome. The best thing you could do as a teacher sometimes is just get out of the way. They noticed about halfway through the year, they said, well, this classroom doesn't really let us to work together. And you look, the floor is carpeted and watching the kids have to push the desks or, or watching them being unable to turn to the person so they have to turn their body. It's frustrating as a teacher or even getting into a big circle, which is so good for whole discussions. It takes forever. They wanted to make their classroom better. I said, okay, go ahead. And next thing they knew, they wanted to start a crowdfunding campaign. Well, along with the crowdfunding campaign, they needed to make a video. So then I had 90 kids in three different classes start to figure out, well, how can we make a video? They wanted to do something awesome, and I just got out of their way. So we set out with the crowdfunding, kind of with the goal of getting maybe five or ten desks. KI is the only one who gave us the time of day. It was later in the process, I get an email and they said, you know what, we would love to just make this donation and become a partnership and work together because we think that we can learn from you and you guys could definitely improve your learning. That, that was one of the coolest moments of teaching when that email came through and said, you know, we believe in you and your kids and what you're doing and we, we'd like to be a part of it. When I heard they were coming and I announced the date that the chairs would be here, they, they were just excited because it's something that they started actually had a happy ending. This is a, a real life example of what passion can do in a classroom. Get him out of here! Go! The old chairs made me very unfocused and not able to really engage and learn myself because when you're sitting in those chairs, like you really can't do much. You're confined and there's nowhere to move or to work with anyone. I thought those old chairs and tables, they were just really clunky and I guess like for activities like you gotta move them around, they're just really unwieldy and very loud. It was just really annoying. I personally, I hate the chairs that we had before. I've got like back problems and knee problems, so the chairs before didn't really have anything behind you to like support your back. It's time to get a new chair! Now, you know, with desks like this, discussion is encouraged, you know, sharing ideas is encouraged. You know, the, a different flow of information is more of a web instead of just one straight line of teacher to students. Now it's, you know, student to student, student to teacher, and teacher to everyone. To being able to, like, move around and interact with um, other students in class means that we get better not only um, relationship skills, but we're able to see new ideas and build off of each other rather than staying in a single desk. They, they move around easily, they're not noisy, they're not heavy. I don't think I'm going to stub my toe on it. <laughs> it's going to be awful going back to other classes. It's just a great environment to be in. I hope things in this class become so easy that they don't even notice. Moving into the groups is so seamless and, and transitioning from different learning environments for whatever activity we're doing. I'm actually hoping they don't even know. They don't even realize it. You know, unless maybe when they go into their next classes and they got to push the desks. They have identified a problem, and instead of complaining about it, they actually came up with a solution. And, and that has always been big for me. It's really easy to complain. It's something completely different to do something about it.